Hello, this is Faith of Faith and Books. I'm sitting in a car because there's no guaranteed privacy anywhere in the house right this moment. I decided to do an actual booktube video today, taking a little break from the unexpectedly homeschooling. And um, I saw a really neat tag started by Bill Rutenberg. And, um, and then I also saw Sean um, Standfast's. Uh, and this is the uh, five top documentaries that have influenced your learning. And I will link to both of those below. So let me, I, I'm perching this camera on top of the steering wheel. Let me gingerly lean over without moving it too much. So look, I wrote it on a piece of orange construction paper. Here we go. So like anything for me, it's always a trip down memory lane. So the first one would be Civilization, which would aired on PBS. I think it was in the early 70s. <clears throat> I remember I was very young. Maybe it was in the late 60s. Um, it was one of the first things that I remember being on PBS besides Upstairs, Downstairs. My mother loved it. I just remember how much my mother loved it so much. She was very into art history and history and architecture and all that kind of stuff. She did a lot of reading. And I know that uh, that might have been in part uh, um, inspired by how much she loved uh, Civilization by Kenneth Clark. And in fact, when she passed away and we got to pick out books, and unfortunately the uh, dust jacket with the famous picture of uh, Charlemagne um, got wrecked up. So, but this is her book. This is a book that she got after watching that series and when it came out in the book. So I just remember, um, I don't remember much about it, and I probably didn't see all of it. Although I think it was repeated. So, But um, I just remember how much my mother loved it, and I think it inspired in me just a love of art and history. Um, and so I, I might not be able to tangibly point to how it influenced me, but I think it was sort of a fundamental thing, um, sort of on an unconscious level in my development, because I think I could have been nine or ten uh, when I saw uh, chunks of it. You know, I, I don't know if I saw the whole thing, but I saw a good bit. So, A Civilization by Kenneth Clark would be the number one most influential um, documentary that I remember. The second one, I remember in eighth grade, we had a special field trip where we walked eight blocks to a movie theater and we saw this documentary on wolves. And I could not remember the name of it. I had to hunt around, but it was called um, Cry of the Wild. came out in 73, so we must have gone in spring must have been in the spring. Um, and I remember we, I, we had to get permission to go on it. I remember it was going to show wolves mating. And my mother said that that was okay for me to see a movie that included wolves mating. And uh, we walked down there, uh, the eight blocks, which was very unusual. We never did anything like that. Um, and we went to the into the movie theater. And I remember being completely just completely enchanted and completely immersed in this study of wolves up in Canada and in the Arctic and just being enthralled. And then I, I came out of that and we were walking back and I just remember sort of hating humanity because all my classmates were all being so crude and disruptive and, and rude to the teachers and it just... I, w I had been raised and, you know, just absorbed into this higher realm during the movie. And then it was such a nasty um, fall to earth um, walking home with my really immature fellow uh, eighth graders. But anyway, I have always loved nature. And I've always loved to read about nature, even before that. So I don't know if it actually influenced um, my learning. I think that I knew about wolves already because I had read Julie of the Wolves, I think. Um, or maybe I read that afterwards. I don't remember. But um, that was a, that was a, um, you know, a real uh, experience seeing that documentary about wolves. Um, 
that I think that it just, and again, I don't know how it influenced me in terms of learning, except that it furthered my love of, of nature, of, of nature watching, nature documentaries, nature uh, writing. The third one is a documentary called, and I don't know who did it, called Eyes on the Prize. I, I think it's a PBS one. And it's about the civil rights movement in America. And I remember that when I went to law school, they played it, it, and this was unusual. We had a big lobby where all the students would gather. It was just lots of areas of, of you know, seating, you know, couches and tables and stuff where we would hang out. And they brought in a uh, TV and they just had this program playing. And I remember sitting in there and watching it and just found, just finding it so absorbing because I knew bits and pieces of the civil rights. You know, I lived through it, but, you know, not as somebody who was actually involved in it, just somebody, a young person observing from, uh, from afar. And uh, so I found it really, really absorbing. And I just remember being absolutely fascinated by that documentary when it came out. I, again, I don't know how it affected my reading. I don't think it affected it directly because I think I've, you know, I've read a, a smattering. I could probably read more, but I've, I've read a smattering of things, you know, by African-American authors and, you know, things about the civil rights movement. But I do remember just the experience of watching it in the lobby of, of our law school. Um, and then the fourth one is, uh, the, wait, is that the fourth one or is that the, okay, I'm going to say that the fourth one is, and I'm not going to say his name right, Simon Shama, who is a British, he's a, he's Jewish, he's a British historian, though I think he, I don't know if he still does, but for a long time I think he taught at Columbia University, um, but he did a, um, a documentary series called A History of Britain. And we used that and when we homeschooled. I used that for my oldest kids for their British history. And I, I had never heard of it before or him before, but I had a British online friend who was homeschooling in, in, in uh, London who recommended it. And so we watched it, and it was fascinating. I, I thought it was really well done. It's a bit cheesy. Some of the cinematography was good. Some of it was a little bit overly, oops, overly, sorry about that, <laughs> overly dramatic and a little bit cheesy, like trying to make things really tense and sort of, uh, you know. But but if you can overlook that, and that's just a bit of it, um, uh, I really, really liked it. And it made me really like Simon Shama. Um, and I have seen other things by him. He actually is known for his um, art history or analysis. Um, but he's he's a really interesting historian. I, I really liked him. So I just, uh, that influenced our learning directly because we used it in our home school. And I tied all of our, our reading to it. Um, so, and I can't remember now what we read. You know, we read the Canterbury, we Beowulf, Canterbury Tales, Shakespeare, what did we read in Shakespeare? I think Macbeth, or I can't remember now. And um, and then we read Dickens and Austin and um, C.S. Lewis. Can't remember who else. Anyway, but uh, we read it as we watched that program. Um, and I still have it somewhere. It's buried somewhere in the house. But I, I'd like to take it out and look at it again. But I, I really uh, like that documentary. And then the last one I'm going to say is a documentary um, made by the now um, Bishop Robert Barron of Word on Fire. But this was back in 2011, I believe. He came out with this documentary called Catholicism. It's gorgeous. The cinematography is gorgeous and it's just this panoramic view of of the whole spiritual and cultural relevance of and and just oh, it's just beautiful uh, of Catholicism. A very profound, just gorgeous, just very inspiring, very informative. Uh just a lovely lovely um documentary that's just it's beautiful, just beautiful. 
So that, um, and I don't know again how that is influenced. I mean, I probably knew a lot of what he says in it already, but he relates it in such, you know, in a deeper way. And he puts it, he puts everything together in such a comprehensive way. Um, his whole approach is so intelligent and, and broad. Um, really, really wonderful, um, wonderful documentary uh, that is very inspirational. And I really appreciate it. So those are my top five. It's uh, uh, Civilization by Kenneth Clark, Cry of the Wild. I don't know who it's by. Um, Eyes on the Prize about the Civil Rights Movement, uh, A History of Britain by Simon Shama, Shama, hmm? and um, the last one is uh, Catholicism by Robert, Father Robert Barron, or now Bishop Robert Barron. I do have a couple more that I really liked. I really like Ken Burns. Um, you know, he did a bunch of them, but uh, The Civil War was, of course, really, really excellent. And I loved his one on baseball. I thought that one was so good. Um, and I also remember really enjoying Joseph Campbell's series, which was on PBS. Uh, I think it was, a, you know, whatever that title is with heroes in it. I have the book. I went out and bought the book after I watched the series. Um, and that was really interesting, too. Um, those are some of the other ones that I think, uh, influenced me as well. So anyway, so that is my, um, uh, five top documentaries that influenced my learning. And thank you, Bill Ruttenberg, for putting up this tag. I don't think I was tagged in it, but it, it, it's a good tag. And I really enjoyed Sean Stanfast's, um, um, talk too. I mean, his, his video too. Anyway, take care. Stay healthy. It's a beautiful day today, so I'm going to go for a walk. It was raining all day yesterday. It was really depressing. So I hope this finds you well, and I will talk to you later.